Hi, uh, welcome to CMSC A2080, Vision, Planning and Control in Aerial Robotics. I'm Nathan. We'll be talking about the course logistics today. Uh, the course is of course about quad rotors and what all you would need to make an autonomous quad rotor. In specific, specifically, the course is about quad rotors, the kinematics involved, the dynamics involved, uh, the controls you would need to be able to do some maneuvers, the trajectory planning, the pose estimation, computer vision, sensor fusion, and hardware. The One of the major reasons what makes this course different from every other course available on quad rotors is that we'll be focusing more on onboard sensing as, as coupled to uh, off-board sensing. And uh, we'll talk about the sen uh, sensors and the uh, algorithms required for these things later on in this course. Um, there are four people mainly teaching this course. Uh, the team is led by Professor Yanis Alamonos uh, and three other PhD students under Professor Yanis, uh, Nitin, which is me, uh, Kanishka and Snehesh, which can be seen in the slides here. And uh, our emails are given here, uh, but I will uh, ask you guys to post on Piazza first and then try to email us if we don't get back to you. Uh, more about Piazza, uh, and more details will be coming later during the la later slides. Uh, the next question is where will the office hours be held? Off office hours will be held in A. Williams 4424 with the TS Monday to Wednesday 4 to 6 p.m. Note that these are tentative times and we will try to uh, accommodate everyone if possible by rescheduling the times if these are not convenient to you guys. And of course, you can have office hours with me or Professor Yanis by appointment. The easiest way to get to A. Williams 4424 is go on the elevator, get out of the fourth floor, uh, take take a right, and it's right behind you. Uh, if you don't find it, please ask someone or look, refer to the maps. Uh, a little bit more about the course logistics. Uh, we meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 12.30 p.m. to 1.45 p.m. in CSI 2107. Uh, please refer to the class website with the link provided in the slides for syllabus, slides, and assignments. Uh, also, we'll be using Canvas or Elms for grades and submission. The discussion help for discussions and help outside the office hours, please use the Piazza. Uh, the link is public and anybody can join. Uh, people who are not registered in the course but are auditing, please feel free to use Piazza. And we'll be making all the homeworks and project assignments open source so you can use them. And all the videos will be on YouTube and it will be open source again. So people who don't want to take this course for credit can still benefit from it. Though the grading will only be done for people who are registered officially in this course. And uh, we'll probably be using an auto grader for the course for most of the programming assignments and homeworks. And more details about that will be coming soon. And Kanishka will be talking about that later. And uh, specific details about submissions will be given in the PDFs provided to you guys in the homeworks and the projects. Uh, there are a lot of deliverables in this class. Uh, most of it are projects. So we have three projects. Project one and project three are basically partly individual and partly group. And project two is all individual. Uh, and these totally will account for 60% of the grade. And there will be few homeworks. Uh, our estimated guess is about four to five homeworks accounting for 12% of the course grade. There will be one Final exam, uh, which is 18% of the course grade, and there will be a few quizzes, and there will be a lot of different kinds of work. There will be written assignments, programming assignments, and laboratory assignments. The laboratory assignments will be, the experiments for the lab will be in evenings and weekends because uh, the labs are few, free during that time, and we don't want to disturb other people working in the lab. And the, this, uh, the lab is situated in Engineering Annex Building Room 200, which is the building which looks like a hut right outside A. Williams, or in front of A. Williams. There will be little flexibility in laboratory times. We will be sending out uh, slots so you can register, and more details about that coming later during the course when the lab sessions are close by. Uh, we encourage everybody to work in groups for this class. Please use Piazza as much as possible. Everyone must turn in the individual assignments. The work must be owned. Please do not copy. And please write a list of all your collaborators on the top of homeworks and project submissions, including all the code. And uh, 
I have to mention the Code of Academic Integrity. I know uh, that all of you know it, but I'm just going to mention it again, just um, to put it out there. Uh, we take academic integrity very seriously in CMSE 2080. Though we want you to learn in groups, we want everybody to put in their own individual effort before before getting help from other people. Please do help other students if something is super obvious to you without actually giving away the whole solution. So for more academic integrity details, please refer to the online uh, plagiarism and honor code on UMD's website. Uh, please read this carefully. When you have a doubt about something related to plagiarism or honor code, please do ask us. Uh, and never ever have a code in your submission that is not yours. In the worst case, if you don't understand some part of the code and you want to use somebody else's code, maybe some other students or a GitHub page, please do put begin and end and please refer and cite your source so that the you, don't you don't have to suffer for the consequences. And of course, I have to mention that the minimum penalty on plagiarism of code without any citation would be zeroing of the entire project. There can be more serious consequences. So the course is divided into three major parts. The first part is basically to teach you about the dynamics, controls, and the trajectory planning of quadrotors in a known environment with a pre-built localization system, which we will be giving you. Uh, second part of the course will be basically, you'll be working on this specific localization system. Uh, it's the same thing as the first project, just that you'll be doing the localization also. Third part of the project is basically what researchers have been doing, and this is, this is the latest research. And the image is taken from University of Zurich's paper where they've done amazing work of uh, aggressively flying through a wind known window. We will not be focusing on aggressive quadrotors just for safety, but you'll be going through a known window and this will be the third project. There are some prerequisites for this course. Uh, I would expect you guys to know some mathematics, mechanics, algorithms, and computation. We will mainly be using MATLAB in this course, and we'll be officially supporting Linux, and specifically Ubuntu 16.04. And we will test all your code on MATLAB 2016B or 2017A. And uh, though all these prerequisites might be overwhelming, know that even having one or more of these prerequisites will help you, and the more you have, the better it is for you because it makes it very easy. And for more details about the schedule of the course, about what topics will be covered when, please look at the website. And for any questions, please do post on Piazza and form a group amongst yourselves, form a study group, and please try to discuss all the assignments together. Thank you. I'll see you next time.